Information from the Transparency International indicates that Nigeria has observed a further plunge on the Corruption Perception Index CPI for 2021. The latest result co-released by the Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Center, CISLAC, reveals that Nigeria's scores dropped by one point to 154 on the Global Corruption Index in the year under review. Executive Director, Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Center, CISLAC, Awa Rafsanjani, at a news conference in Abuja, attributed the development to the alarming trend of corrupt practices in the country. He also highlighted some of the parameters used for the ranking termed weaknesses as highlighted in the report. The Corruption Perception Index aggregates data from eight different sources that provide perception by country experts and business people on the level of corruption in the public sector. While the index does not show specific incidences of corruption in the country, it indicates the perception of corruption in Nigeria. The index is completely impartial, objective, and globally acknowledged as the most widely used cross-country parameter for measuring corruption. The corruption perception index involves comes at a point when Nigeria as a country is battling with rising nationwide insecurity, high unemployment, and damning revelation around public finance management. Rafsanjani was, however, quick to add, while the index does not in any way represent an assessment of Nigerians' anti-graft agencies in the fight against corruption. It is important to stress that Corruption Perception Index it is not an assessment of the Nigerian government anti-corruption effort. We are not measuring the performance of government anti-corruption. Neither are we also measuring the performance of UPFCC or SEPC. It is rather focusing on public sector corruption. So it is important we clarify this point because there has been some deliberate, mysterious misinterpretation by those who are interested to continue to benefit from corruption in Nigeria. Distorting and misleading and misrepresenting what Transparency International, CISLAC, you know, does with corruption perception index or the results of that comes. We repeat, it is not an assessment of the Nigerian government anti corruption or with agencies. It is purely looking at public sector corruption. The group further indicated hope assuring that the situation is redeemable. Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, anti-graft agency, Ministry of Justice and Foreign Affairs should work in synergy and engage their international counterparts, international counterparts to ensure that global enablers for middlemen like lawyers, notaries, accountants, who help facilitate money laundering and tax evasion are blacklisted. Adiza Kangima, board member, Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Center, CISLA. They also advise the government to examine the weaknesses highlighted in the report, as well as consider actions that will tackle systematic corruption in the country. CNN News.